हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज शैलजा विभूते लेक्चरर के एल एस गुप्ते पी यू कॉलेज ऑफ कॉमर्स एंड साइंस बेलगावी इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट फिजिकल क्वांटिटीज यूनिट टाइप्स ऑफ यूनिट्स होप यू ऑल आर रिमेंबरिंग लेट एस रिवाइज a quantity which can be measured is called physical quantity unit is internationally accepted standard to represent a quantity and in case of units mainly there are two types first one is fundamental units and second one is derived units the units of quantities like length mass time are fundamental quantities their units are fundamental units to measure these three fundamental units there are three systems of units those are cgs system एफ पी एस एंड एम के एस इन सी जी एस सिस्टम लेंथ इज मेजर्ड इन टर्म्स ऑफ सेंटीमीटर मास इज मेजर्ड इन टर्म्स ऑफ ग्राम एंड सेकेंड इज यूनिट ऑफ टाइम इन एफ पी एस एफ स्टैंड फॉर फुट पी पाउंड एंड एस सेकेंड Similarly, in MKS system, yes, uh, in MKS system, unit of length is meter, unit of mass is kilogram (kg), and unit of time is a second. Now let us see about SI unit, SI system. SI stands for System International. SI is a globally accepted system for measurement what happened was that in earlier days different parts of the world used different systems of units according to their own convenience so it's so happened that if people travel from one part of the world to another they found problem in communicating each other regarding units that's why scientists together decided to invent a globally accepted system for measurement so that everybody can use the same system for measurement so then came si system in si system there are seven fundamental physical quantities and they have their fundamental units so in mks already uh, unit of length was meter kg and second were included but these three were not sufficient so four more were included in si system those are kg meter second ampere kelvin mole and candela so for unit of distance or length it is meter then for mass it is kilogram for time it is second and kelvin is for temperature ampere is for electric current amount of substance is measured with the unit that is mole then intensity of light that is si unit is candela and these are their notations capital k for kelvin small m for meter capital a is for ampere small s is second m o l is for mole kg kilogram cd that is candela so these seven fundamental 
units are included in SI system. Try to remember these. It is very important. You can expect a question here. Write seven fundamental units of SI system. With these seven fundamental quantities, two supplementary units are included. One is for plane angle. Another one is for solid angle. Plane angle, very simple one. It is like angle between two lines, you can say, which we already know. But we used to represent it in terms of degree. But that only now we have to write it in terms of radian in SI system. So SI unit of plane angle is radian. Then here one formula is given. How to calculate this angle now? If you see the diagram, it is a circle. Then AB is arc or arc length. It is represented by the letter S. Then this is radius. It is represented by R. So theta is equal to S divided by R is formula to calculate this plane angle. So what is SI unit of plane angle then? radian the next one is solid angle solid angle means instead of this circle no you imagine one solid you can imagine a ball okay so now <clears throat> otherwise you take example of a cone you take one paper take the make a shape of a cone there then inside how you will see you will see two dimension there no no so this is solid angle inside what you are seeing now it is solid angle and this will be now area okay not only arc it will cover some area here so s is area now so this becomes solid angle okay so si unit of solid angle is stay radian how to calculate this solid angle usually we denote it by the letter omega this is omega omega is equal to s divided by r square this is formula to calculate solid angle and this is for plane angle si unit of plane angle is radian si unit of solid angle is stay radian okay now let us see very interesting one that is about prefixes prefix means what i will give one example Say you have measured the length and you have expressed in terms of centimeter. In that meter is SI unit, centi is prefix. Similarly say you have measured the mass and you are giving it in terms of say kilo or say it is uh, uh, giga. Uh, means what these are prefixes okay similarly say length kilometer you will take kilo is prefix meter is unit si unit so they have their own values prefixes have their own values now uh, here some one list is given try to remember this in this list all these are written in terms of 10 to the power positive number and this side it is 10 to the power negative number okay 10 raised to 1 it is deca 10 raised to 2 hecto 10 raised to 3 kilo 10 raised to 6 mega giga means 10 raised to 9 terra 10 raised to 12 beta 10 raised to 15 exa 10 raised to 18 zeta 10 raised to 21 yota 10 raised to 24 Similarly, 10 raised to minus 1, it is for deci. Centi means 10 raised to minus 2. Milli, 10 raised to minus 3. Micro, 10 raised to minus 6. Nano, 10 raised to minus 9. Pico, 10 raised to minus 12. Femto, 10 raised to minus 15. Otto, 10 raised to minus 18. Zemto, 10 raised to minus 21. Yocto, 10 raised to minus 24. These prefixes are very important in physics. Try to remember these, practice these because when you are solving the problem that time, uh, not necessary that everything should be given in SI system. Sometimes they will use the prefixes 
but you have to convert those say if length is given in terms of kilo then you have to convert that kilo into kilometer into meter that time this prefix will help you 10 raised to 3 similarly if measured length is in terms of micro then that micro you have to convert it into and you have to take the multiplier as 10 raised to minus 6 so these prefixes will help you practice these properly okay now comes the next one that is measurement of length length can be measured with the help of a meter scale and with the help of meter scale we can measure the length for millimeter to say 100 meter milli here it is represented as 10 raised to minus 3 you can see in the slide and 100 meter I have written purposely in terms of 10 raised to 2 be familiar with the scientific notation okay means 10 to the power say you are measuring the length less than 10 raised to minus 3 then you have to take the help of an instrument that is called vernier calipers this is vernier calipers if it is less than 10 raised to minus 4 then you have to take the help of instrument called screw gauge screw gauge is used for lengths of the order of 10 raised to minus 5 meter this is screw gauge to measure lengths beyond these ranges we make use of some special indirect methods means instruments we won't use but using some indirect method we can measure the length say you want to measure the distance between two stars or two planets then you cannot take the help of meter scale that time you have to take the help of a method that method is called parallax method so to measure large distances we use parallax method this is one mark question to estimate very small that is size of a molecule we can take the help of electron microscope now try to learn about very important one that is parallax so what is this parallax now it is the apparent shift in the position of a body with respect to its background due to the shift in the position of the eye what is meaning of this for that let us see this slide uh, very easily you can understand what is this for that first what we have to do put your arm in front of you with the thumb up you do it practically so that you can understand what now I am teaching so what you have to do put your arm in front of you with the thumb up okay now close the left eye look at the thumb and the objects further away it's little bit far from that look at the thumb now so which eye is closed now you close left eye okay in the slide you can see this is thumb okay and behind you no know, some uh, like one building is there okay this is in the slide but when you are doing practically maybe some other objects are in front of you now what you have to do now close the right eye the thumb seems to seems to have jumped to another position compared to before means you are seeing in the slide here here building was not clear but here it is clear so up that whatever object you have that seems to have jumped to another position so this is called shift in the position say apparent shift in the position of a body with respect to its background due to shift in the position of the eye so when you close the left eye it appears to at one position when you shift when you close right eye it appears to be shifted so this is called parallax now distance between say your left eye and right eye it is called basis so what is basis 
it is the distance between two positions of observation in the parallax method and if you make an angle there that is called parallax angle distance between shift in the position that is apparent shift in the position the angle subtended by the basis at the object is called parallax angle for this let me take one more example already I had drawn some points here let me explain these say here a boy is sitting and where, uh, from him little far from him there is a tree he wants to measure or estimate you can say estimate the distance of the tree for that he will take the help of parallax method let us suppose then say here I have marked left L and R here actually left eye here and right eye here it is not correct but I cannot write on his head only no so I took here okay so first he observed the tree by closing right eye so left eye is open he observed the tree maybe this is the distance let us mark it as capital D now by closing left eye with the right eye he is saying this is the distance let us take it as capital D again distance between left eye and right eye basis let us represent it as small b here very small angle is subtended very small angle it is made so let us represent it as theta the same diagram I had drawn it here ok only to explain next point I had taken the diagram here hope it is clear so here if you observe this capital D is much greater than small b is it right distance between left eye and right eye is b it is very small compared to distance of the tree correct then here imagine what we have to assume now say you can assume here let us mark it as O O as the center you imagine one circle here like this ok looks like circle I hope so ok then this you take it as radius so D is radius and O is center now this becomes arc now this B will be arc now now how to measure this arc length I hope you know the formula here arc length s is equal to r theta ok so let us apply it to our notations s means what arc I have represented it as b so b is equal to radius means what I have taken here capital D angle is again theta you want capital D so how to calculate now capital D is equal to shift this side what you will get b divided by theta so if you know the values of b and theta this capital D can be estimated ok so to estimate the distance between means a tree which is very far from that boy he can take the help of this parallax method hope I hope this is clear to you now what is parallax and what is basis how this parallax method is employed okay let us continue thank you